Welcome to a lesson on the angle addition postulate. As you can see in the diagram, we have these two angles that we're going to call adjacent. Adjacent means they touch each other or share one of the sides. In the top angle, we have QRS. The measure of QRS is 15 degrees. The measure of SRT is 30 degrees. And that would mean the measure of the overall larger angle. I'm going to call it QRT would be equivalent to the sum of those two together, 15 degrees plus 30 degrees, 45 degrees. That's basically what the angle addition postulate says. When they touch, when they're adjacent or next to each other, you can add those together to come up with the total sum because rays do not really have any dimension. Let's take a look at how we can apply that in some other examples. Down below here, I have an example where we have two adjacent angles. Notice that the measure of angle LMO. LMO is this largest angle. That's 85 degrees. That's what we're talking about there. And then the measure of one of the angles that makes up that NMO, NMO is this angle here, is 53 degrees. Well, if this angle is 53 degrees, what would uh, this angle down here need to be so that the total sum would be 85? Um, easy way to think about that, if you use a subtraction, 85 subtract 53 would be 32. So it would be true that this angle here, and I'll write it as the measure of angle uh, L, M, N would be equivalent to 32 degrees. That's true because 32 plus 53 equals 85. One last example, an algebraic connection. In this diagram, <clears throat> we have the two interior angles or two smaller angles, adjacent angles labeled algebraically. Uh, one of them is 4x plus 2 degrees, the other one 3x minus 7 degrees. Notice that the information I have at the right is the measure of ABD. That's this largest angle here all the way from one uh, outside side to the other is 100 degrees. Well, what would necessarily be true then with the angle addition postulate is that this angle and this angle, they don't have to be equivalent. Notice I'm giving them different markings, but they have to add up or have a sum of 100 degrees. So you could use some algebraic expressions to figure that out. The first angle, 4x plus 2 degrees. If you would add in the second angle, 3x minus 7 degrees, you should be getting 100 degrees. And then some linear algebra steps here uh, would be necessary to solve that. You have 4x plus 3x is 7x. Of course, 2 minus 7 is negative uh, 5. Um, and then you have the 100 degrees. If you add that to both sides, uh, when I say that, if you add 5 to both sides, you'll get that 7x is equal to 105. And then dividing by 7, you should get 15. So you can find the value of x. Not only can you find the value of x, you can go back and find the value of each of the individual angles by plugging in. So if you were to plug in the value for x into this first expression, 4 times x plus 2, that would end up being 4 times 15 plus 2. Uh, which would be equivalent to um, 62 degrees. And then this angle here can be found by 3 times 15 minus 7, uh, which would be, I believe, 38. Had to check uh, my math there for a second. And it seemed to work out because 62 plus 38 would, in fact, be equivalent to 100 degrees. So you can do some final labeling, labeling there.